Okay, eighth grade, um, we need a really quick mini lesson about prepositions and prepositional phrases, okay? Um, I'm just looking over the homework from yesterday and it seems like a bunch of you got confused here. I'm going to continue grading them, but if you got anything wrong because you didn't understand this concept that I'm about to show you right now, please redo it and resubmit it for a better grade, okay? If you do decide to resubmit it, just drop me a quick email and let me know. Um, that you have so I know to go in and recheck it. It doesn't always alert me to that kind of thing, okay? So one of the things we have to remember is the difference between a prepositional phrase and a clause because many of them begin with the same words. Those um, subordinating conjunctions that begin clauses, many of them are on the prepositional phrase list. So just really quick, here's a hint. If it has a subject plus a verb, okay, it's going to be a clause, okay? So if, for example, we have the, um, the, the word until, until can fall in the category of a subordinating conjunction for a clause, or it can be a preposition, okay? So a preposition phrase, a prepositional phrase has no subject and no verb. All right, that's really important. All right. So if we have um, until, if I say un until the boy was 12, comma, he could not um, ride a bike. That's a clause because it's until the boy was. And so I've got a subject and a verb there. If I say um, until the afternoon, the boy could not ride a bike. Then it's a prepositional phrase because until the afternoon, there's no subject and no verb there, okay? The other thing that we want to be careful of is the word to plus a verb, all right? Because to can be a preposition. So if I say to the store, that equals a preposition. But if I say to go home, that equals an infinitive. Remember we learned about those? Because there's a verb there, the verb go. All right, so let's do an example. The funny clown jumped. Um, the funny clowns jumped, all right? So if I wanna add to that, I might say the funny clowns jumped over, over, the box, period, all right? My preposition is over. My prepositional phrase is over the box. There's no subject, there's no verb there, so I know it's a prepositional phrase, okay? On part two, it's asking you to write two prepositional phrases for each one. And again, a lot of you got it on the top, but then on the bottom, you, try, you started adding clauses. So our phrase is, the monster walked. So I might, maybe I'm going to put one at the beginning. So I might say, after dinner, the monster walked um, into the lake. Okay, so my first prepositional phrase is after dinner with the preposition being after, but again, no subject and verb here. And then the monster walked into the lake is my second one, into being the preposition, but again, no subject and verb here. All right, um, so sorry that we missed that. I thought, thought you guys um, might have remembered that from last year, but no big deal. Like I said, I'm going to grade the papers, but go back and check yours. And if yours isn't done correctly or you got something wrong because of this, um, go back and fix it and turn them in again. Okay? All right.